though the Pool Hospital Child Development Centre is a hugely important venue which is used by over 2,000 children every year. They're attempting to renovate it, uh, which is going to cost in the region of £75,000. Caroline Fawcett is a lead play specialist who joins me on the show uh, this afternoon. Caroline, thanks ever so much for coming on to the, the, the programme. Tell us more about this, this area then that you're trying to raise some funds for. Hi. Um, well, first of all, thank you for um, inviting us Pleasure. to be able to promote this. Um, it's actually it's the outdoor play area at the Child Development Centre, which we've been very lucky to have for a great many years now, probably well over 15, so it is a bit past its best. Um, and we're looking to replace that um, with something that's actually more inclusive um, to, in terms of the patients that we have coming through. And you mentioned that we've got about 2,000 ever-increasing children that, that use that area. Um, so we're looking to set up, it's going to be a, a, a seaside theme, a ship tying in nicely with our coastal location that will be accessible for children in wheelchairs, with walking aids and with sensory resources as well. As well as areas for parents and carers to be able to sit while their while their children are attending appointments at the centre, it's it's well it's important to have play and to have fun. That's essential, but it's so much more than that because it's also about their treatment. The appointments that they're attending are with um, physiotherapists, occupational therapists. Um, paediatricians and play specialists to name but a few so they're coming for treatment um, or, for, or for diagnostic purposes as well for assessment so being able to incorporate that with play through play just makes a world of difference that the child doesn't necessarily know that they're having treatment or going through an assessment process because mm -hmm. For them, it's about having some fun. Yeah, it sounds like an incredible vision, but £75,000 that needs to be raised in order to make it a reality. How are you going to go about uh, just trying to, to get to that target? Well, at the, at the moment, appeals like this one on the radio, appealing to your listeners and, and to the wider um public audience within the area so particularly at this time of year one of the things that we're, we're inviting people to think about is, is when you're buying an easter egg perhaps maybe we might be able to encourage you to think about using the money that you might have spent on donating an easter egg or, um, or within your family whatever we don't want to be a, a spoil sport but perhaps thinking about an easter egg that comes to us in the form of a donation to the appeal um, because every little bit it counts every bit of money every pound every five pounds whatever anybody could spare that easter egg money can just make a massive difference to to the children that are, are, are coming to our center and if people do want to donate carola how can they do that we the charity here at the hospital um we're part of university hospital dorset so there's they can go to the website it's uhdcharity.org Org, um, so they can just go to that or just Google it, um, Pool Hospital or UHD Charity. It will take you to the website page where there's uh, um, a list of current current projects and just scroll down to Children's Playground and, and that's all you need to do, quick and easy and, and click away. I'll give that website address in, in just a moment. Have you got a deadline for when you want to, to raise the funds by? Um, well, the sooner the better. It is dependent mm. on raising the funds. So the sooner that, that we can meet the target, the sooner we can get this um, play equipment in place and start using it. Um, so, so yes, but, um, as soon as possible. Well, good luck with it and we'll keep in touch. Caroline, thank you very much indeed. Caroline uh, Fawcett there, who is lead play specialist uh, at the Pool Hospital Child Development Centre. If you would like to find out more then or donate, you can go online at uhdcharity.org, uhdcharity.org.